up guys. Check out this finishing off here. It's a quarter inch ball nose and mill, six flutes. Six variable flutes on that bad boy. We're finishing here at 51 inches a minute, 5100 RPM. These are uh, Titanium 1911 grips that I've been making. And this thing does an awesome job. So far. Only well, we had it a few days. But I originally started out with this uh, three flute. That's a Tyson coated ball nose there. Probably more focused for aluminum, but it actually did a pretty good job in titanium. Just slow. So we go through from three flutes. I was running that originally at around uh, 15 inches a minute, and then to go to six flutes, I went to 30, and then uh, I kept pushing it, pushing it, and ran a few different calculations on the lizard, and man, 50, a little over 50 seems to work really well. So let's cut that off today. Way yeah, pretty killer. And it leaves a nice finish. Check out this finished product here. Just a light deeper with a uh, scotch bright, ultra fine scotch bright, and a little bit of 600 sandpaper. And uh, let me turn the light here. You can see that is a 3% uh, step over on a quarter inch ball and a six foot. Just a little bit of funniness on this is it ramps down this back side. Uh, when it's, I guess when it would be machining this side, going looking at the screen from uh, right to left, it would be climb milling and going from left to right after it goes down the ramp, it's actually conventional milling. And for the way it changes the chip load, it doesn't quite have as perfect a finish as this front side. So I might mess with that a little bit more and see if there's a way to optimize that. But, you know, a little bit of deburring takes it out. But it still looks really nice in the mill. Yeah, these are the uh, We The People grips. Great by titanium. I think they're coming out wicked. So this uh, design I'm working on right now is the, uh, the Battle Corn Flat design that I've been doing on some knives. And, uh, See this set here in bronze. Oh yeah, wicked. I still have to sand the top. This is a 4% step over with that same end mill. Noticeably coarser lines, but still turning out really nice. Um, so yeah, well when I get these grips finished up, maybe I'll uh, roll in some skills at the end, show you what they look like. But that uh, six foot finisher is sick. Loving it. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Catch you later. A little bit of extra footage here. I left 15,000 stock off the, uh, the roughing pass. And it may actually do a better job to leave a little more. The ramps on that back side and goes to the conventional milling. Um, maybe going to uh, 25,000 stock would be even a little bit better finish. I'll have to try it. Oh, by the way, that's a new six foot nozzle. Well, it actually has, I think, in, I mean, a uh, six nozzle tip there. It's a part of a ring nozzle that came, I think it had 15 total. Uh, I don't have a pump strong enough to pressure all those at the kind of PSI that I want to run. This is still the stock Tormach pump, which I think is a 10 horse or 8 horse or something like that. With this in the stock quarter inch line and, and uh, valve there. All I did was swap that nozzle out, so I got six nozzles running now. And it's a world of difference. So I think I'll swap to uh, like a 5th or 6th horse pump. That'll make a big difference. I think I'll just try this stock line. Uh, even though it doesn't flow a whole lot, it makes quite a bit of pressure. Even with this pretty weak stock pump. So yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.